Third world oil producing countries must work collectively to localize technology for exploration and production so as to avoid being shortchanged by the developed world. A professor of political science, Oyego Kielalude, stated this at the second inaugural lecture of Fountain University held in Oshobo. A TVC News correspondent, Rafi Hamid, reports. It's the second inaugural lecture of the university entitled Rethinking North South Relations. The resource perspective. It's coming at a time the country is facing a lot of challenges, including high costs of petrol, kerosene, and most importantly, diesel. Professor Yeguki Laludi says technology in exploring oil cannot continue to be north based while they claim to control resides in the south. Technology in exploring oil cannot continue to be north based while the claim to control resides in the South. Authority over a critical resource such as oil will continue to be limited or even diminishing if the exploration and production of oil remain in the hands of foreigners. Those who are endowed with oil reserves cannot reasonably externalize the production process and still hope to maintain control on pricing policy matters among others. Professor Igu Kilaludi said the third world oil producing countries, especially Nigeria, needs technical expertise in the production of its oil. He appealed to governments to encourage more privatization of refineries and resuscitate the existing ones. The lack of expertise in the refining of oil as is experienced in Nigeria cannot be allowed to continue. In view of the fact that Nigeria has not been able to meet technical expertise in refining crude oil, the nation has ended up as both exporter and importer of oil, an abnormality and anomaly to say the very least. Invariably, Nigeria has suffered from an unnecessary petroleum subsidy scandal, a terminology that would ordinarily not have surfaced if the nation had faced the subjugations to the maintenance of refineries and the building of new ones. This area of what we call the oil subsidy, which is for oil uh, fraud, uh, from which no country has ever benefited, should be revisited. And as suggested by the lecturer, I think Nigeria has to use her political power, her resource power, and her, uh, and her uh, intellectual power to sort of carve a niche for ourselves in the Committee of Nations. They also want governments to look into the non-oil resources as a means of generating revenue to improve the country's economy. Rafi Hamid, TVC News.